everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to try realism in digital art. I have had so many people ask me to do realism, so I guess I'm just going to have to give in and try it. And I'm going to be using my iPad and the app called Procreate to draw with. So let's get into it. So I started off with a royalty free stock image and I'll definitely leave a link in the description to which one I used. But yeah, I decided on a kitten because I wanted to draw something simple enough, yet you can tell if it looks realistic or not. I was definitely not game enough to draw a person. Uh, that will be definitely a long way down the line. I'm not very good at drawing realistic people, but we will get there. Now, I actually started off looking at a few uh, YouTube tutorials on how to uh, realistically shade fur and uh, stuff like that and um, it actually wasn't as bad as what I thought I just never really looked it up and not I didn't really look into it too much to figure it out so in the past when I've tried to do it myself I just didn't know the tools to use so the program today we are using is called Procreate as I said earlier and yeah I'm actually just drawing in some rough shapes at the moment. I'm trying to just get the foundations on which I'm going to be working off and making sure that the colours and the background and all of that is accurate to the image. After that I selected a soft airbrushing brush to add some very soft shading and uh, very minimal shaping to this form just to make it look a little bit more like what it's supposed to be. I'm definitely not working on details at the moment. I'm mainly just working on the form and the shape and uh, very slight tones, that kind of thing. And details, they will come later. I'm mainly working with some very, very light tans and browns for the cat and also some pinks and stuff for the ears as well. I tried to keep true to the image so the background is a very dark red and the cat is sitting on top of a sort of leopard print blanket. After I got the tones uh, how I liked them and the shape was starting to come together, I actually decided to draw in a rough test of the eyes and the nose and the mouth and this was just a bit of a sketch that I uh, did very roughly and then I sort of shaped it into the way I wanted it to be and then I drew in on another layer with the eyes. Now I started on the eyes because they are a very uh, important part of the piece and it was where I wanted to draw my viewers attention to. I definitely wanted those eyes to look crisp and uh, bright and sort of contrasty to the very light and soft fur. I tried to pay attention to the highlights and the shadows and the overall details of the eyes. I definitely didn't want to uh, draw what I think I could see. I definitely wanted to sort of zoom in really close to the cat's eyes and just copy what I could see even if I didn't think it would make sense. Just so I could like get those uh, details properly done if that makes any sense at all. Now for the cat's nose and mouth, I actually decided to shade very slight pink where the mouth is, mainly because with kittens you will find if they're very young they have that sort of pink tinge around their mouth just where the fur is very uh, fine and soft and this kitten definitely had this feature so I definitely wanted to include it because I just think it looks really cute and uh, it makes the kitten look very young. Now that I got those details how I wanted them, I started off with another soft airbrush uh, brush and I just basically went in with the rough patterns on the cat. Now this cat has a very light coat and it does have some forms of stripes on him, although it's not the typical tabby, it's a very light sort of colour, so I tried to keep to that. Now here comes the very fun bit. Uh, in a few tutorials that I had watched, um, they actually mentioned to use the smudge tool in Procreate to uh, sort of smudge the outlines to make it look like fur. Now I had not thought of this in the past. I thought, you know, oh yeah, you just use a brush and you have to draw over the top and sort of draw the shape of the fur. But if you just draw in the rough uh, outlines and shapes of the cat and then just use that smudge tool with a 
just a fine sort of brush you can actually get a really nice sort of uh, outline of the cat and you can really get that those fur sort of little clumps coming out to look realistic and once I actually added that to the outside of the cat it started to come together a lot more and just look a little bit more realistic of course I'm not trying to go hyper realism you can still definitely tell it is a digital painting however it is not cartoony and I've tried my best to sort of get the proportions accurate to the original. Now that I've got most of the outline done I'm just going into where all of those sort of soft details are and I'm just adding little fur textures to it with the same smudge brush and yeah it's actually starting to come together. Now at this point I was starting to be like oh my I actually drew this and I was actually getting really excited because um, I've never drawn a cat this realistically before and I was actually getting pretty proud. <laughs> but yeah, I was just working all over the piece trying to get all of those little fur textures the way that I wanted them to be. Now I tried to pay attention to the flow of the cat's fur and uh, which direction each strand was growing in and that kind of thing so I definitely wanted to pay attention to that because if you got if you get that wrong it kind of looks a bit off and different so uh, I definitely wanted to keep an eye on that and try to make it you know good <laughs> now after I got a lot of that done I just went over the piece again with uh, a different brush this time an actual brush I'm actually using the fine hair brush in this with a very very light color and I'm just going over in places to sort of draw in some flyaway hairs and little tufts of fur and uh, this brush is very very nice I have used it in the past and um, I definitely like this brush because it just gives that sort of soft flowy hair look and yeah it gives a good little detail to it I think now it is time to go into the background a little bit. I wanted to make sure that the blanket the kitten was sitting on uh, was equally sort of slightly realistic, if that makes any sense. Um, so I was using the exact same method as I was for the cat's fur with that little smudgy brush. And basically what I did was I drew in some very, very soft uh, sort of shapes that alluded to leopard or is it leopard print? I'm not sure. It's one of those wild cat prints. Anyways, um, and I used the airbrush for this mainly. I think it was a medium airbrush, not the really soft one. And that was just so I could get a rough sort of shadow. And of course, after that, I added some highlights to it as well, just in random places. And then I used that sort of smudgy brush to uh, get that nice, furry, fluffy texture that the, that the cat had. And I think I achieved it pretty well. After that I just went in with my uh, very uh, small line art brush and I just drew in the cat's whiskers with a very very light colour. And after a few little touch ups and little tweaks here and there, the cat was mostly done. I have to say I'm very very pleased and impressed with myself with this piece and I don't want to like toot my own horn or anything but this is probably the best uh, sort of attempt at realism I have ever done. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you like it as much as I do. So here is the final results of this little kitten drawing and I am so happy with it. So here is the final results. Uh, I can't actually hold it up to you because, well, it is a digital piece. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, make sure you hit like and subscribe. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.